Welcome to another edition of uh, Camper Convo. I'm sitting here with Sarah from the Holy Family Catholic School of Green Bay. How are you doing today, Sarah? Good, how are you? Welcome. Thank you. Uh, can you just tell me a little bit about this uh, charity, this trivia night that you've got going on? Sure, sure. So Holy Family Catholic School is a school in Green Bay that um, serves about 200 students, okay. preschool through eighth grade. And trivia night is one of the fundraisers we're hosting this school year to help um, raise money not only to help keep tuition rates low but to also help fund some special projects that we have going on. Okay what what kind of projects if you don't mind my asking? Sure. This year we're focused on creating a maker space in the coming years so we're raising funds to help um, enhance our science, technology, engineering, arts and mathematics oh, okay. education. Okay. Okay. Is this the first year you've done this event or has it, it been? This is the first year we're doing trivia night. Okay. And we're really excited we are focusing on different fundraisers that in, um, engage our entire community, not uh, just specific stakeholders. So it's really um, an accessible night for all of our families to be able to come and just have a good time together. So okay. it not only raises funds, but it also builds up our communities. Okay, how many how many people do you expect, or do you guys have some yeah, sort of count? We're or? hoping for about 200 people, but okay. if we have more, we'll take it. Nice, okay. Yeah. Now, and what, what are some of the other ways that the community can help? I mean, this is obviously a good cause for children. We do a lot for, for children's charities and things of that nature at CUNIS. So what, what are some other ways that, that the community can help? I mean, it's... Yeah, we're looking for sponsorships right now for, cool. for the prizes and to cover the cost of the, the meals um, okay. and the location itself so that any money that we bring in would come directly to the school and we don't have to worry about covering costs uh, uh, outside of, okay. of what the cost of the fundraiser is. So that's our main priority. Um, but really, attending the event itself would be the biggest help outside of that. Okay. Um, is there a fee or anything? Or is it, what, what's the, what's it, does it cost to go? Sure. You can buy individual tickets at $30 a piece, and we'll piece you together with other guests um, to form a team. Otherwise, you can purchase a table of eight and then you can come together. Uh, with for you with your own team? and Yep, and you can come with your own team. Okay, all right, so team trivia kind of, that type of thing? Exactly. All right, yes. all right. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. How long have you been associated with the with the school? So this is my first year at Holy Family awesome. Campus okay. School, um, and my first year as principal, so it's been really great to get to know not only the school families, but we also have seven parishes that help support our school okay. um, on Green Bay's west side. So getting nice. to know the parishioners at the different parishes has been a really benef big benefit as well. Okay. But I have worked within our larger Grace School system for an additional year as well at a different school. So you're the principal then at, at the, the school? This year, yeah. Okay, all right, is that new? You've it's, been a principal before? This is my first year as principal. Okay, yeah. all right. How's that working out? Pretty it's decent? It's been or? a beautiful adventure, nice. yes. Okay. It's a great learning experience. All right. Honestly, I'm thinking about maybe I'll stop down and get a couple of tickets and come down. And it's really fun. Yeah. Okay. So Trivia Night has been modeled after um, successful events at some of the other Grace schools that have done it. So it's a really fun event and it's very low key. So once you come, you're really not expected to purchase extra things or anything like that. You're just there to be a part of your group that you're joining. Okay. Um, so if you come with a full table, you can participate in our themed table contest. So you can add decorations, you can dress in costumes, um, and then there will be a voting opportunity to determine which table has the best theme throughout the night. Um, so does the theme have to do with trivia or can I bring about the superheroes? Anything. So recently when I attended a trivia night, we went to, as Where's Waldo? And that was our theme. Oh, okay. Superheroes would be another great one. Um, one of the winners at the recent trivia night that I went to was, did Super Mario Brothers. So it can oh, be okay. anything. Okay. Um, and then there's going to be additional mini games in between the trivia rounds that you can choose to participate in or not for an extra fee. Okay. So sometimes they have named that song as an additional game that you can join in. Oh, nice. And it's a chance okay. to win extra prizes too. Name that tune. That was an old show. I know, Back right? again. <laughs> I can name that tune in three notes. Yeah. You're pretty okay. good at it. I found out I was not. I'm not good at that one. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah. So um, 
when, when, when people get there? I mean, is it like two hours, three hours? Yeah, so it starts at about 7 o'clock. It'll start at 7 o'clock. Okay. It was open at 6.30, and it wraps up around 10 o'clock. So it's about a three-hour event. Okay. It's adults only, so right. um, it's a good date night out if you have the opportunity to come. And there's a meal and everything? Yeah, there'll be uh, heavy hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> heavy hors d'oeuvres? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, um, it sounds like a great charity. Um, some of the other... The other parishes that you work with, that they do the trivia night as well? Yes. Do you guys ever do like a, at the end of it all, like you got six parishes, you do a championship round or that something would be fun, like that? I like this idea. You know, bring yeah. everybody back in for the championship round. Maybe they get a, a I don't know, a night stay in Green Bay or something there you like go. that. That's like or, an idea. Yeah, we'll have to start collaborating a little there bit. There you go. More. Maybe, yeah, yeah, build it up a little bit more, yeah. get everybody, do the regional stuff, and then at the end of it, do the championship exactly. round. Or the, exactly. Super Bowl trivia or right. something like that, right? But, <laughs> that would okay, be okay. Cool. That, that's good. Good idea. Um, and then other other events coming up. Do you have any other charity stuff coming up that sure. you're going to do we this year? Smaller fundraisers throughout this whole school year, but our other large fundraiser would be our annual Fall Fest that we have. Um, it's kind of a church picnic style event, okay. um, but it's geared more towards children. So there are bounce houses and there's games. There's there's food present, but then we do have a really awesome silent auction to go along with it. And then other, do other businesses and other uh, stores, things of that nature, are they all kind of chiming in? Do you guys reach out or do they know what's going on? Or? Yeah, yeah, we have a, a couple other sponsorships as well. So okay. it's been a great, great opportunity and new sponsorships too. So um, it's nice to reach out farther into the community to get the word out, not only about our, our um, not only about our fundraiser, but also about what we do at Holy Family too. So, Sarah, other other than the trivia night, what are what is you know, what are some of the other things that your school stands for? You know, what's your mission statement? That type of thing. What do you guys hope to accomplish? I mean, obviously helping children mm -hmm. and making them the best that they can be. But tell me some of the other things going on and uh, yeah, uh, what you guys stand for. That type of thing. So. In a Catholic school, we're rooted in a values-based education as well. Mm -hmm. So we have morals and values intertwined throughout all that we do, all day, every day. And a lot of families come to us for that. Um, that's something that's that's um, they find missing in the public schools. That, oh yeah. And so it's nice to find something that aligns with your own personal beliefs, and then know that when you're sending your children off to school during the day, that it's being reinforced. There you go. Okay. And so uh, we also strive to um, create an affordable experience um, within the Grace School system. Tuition is very affordable compared to other parts of the country, right from the get-go. But if you're a parishioner of one of the 23. Grace parishes, then you get a discount there. Um, if you have more than one child within our school, there's also discounts. We do have financial aid options and fundraisers like this help assist with some of that financial aid to make it affordable for all. We do also participate in the Wisconsin School Choice Program. So families that meet a certain income level can apply for that choice program and receive money to help. To get assistance and help with the tuition. education and then with all the, the different trivia nights and things of that nature you kind of help out with all of that stuff well that's, exactly. that's a good idea yes yeah okay so we're very fortunate that that there are a lot of affordable opportunities for families to join our school well, that's good you're trying to keep the cost down absolutely keeping their their beliefs and and the families knowing that they come in and right. you'll enforce those beliefs and things of that nature well that's yeah. that's good if there's anything we can do let us know okay well, thank you so much yeah. really well, appreciate we appreciate help. you coming in and spending some time with us today thank you this was thank fun you. all right great